I was doing some exploring out in the Western Plains. While I was driving around, something caught my eye. As I got closer, I saw this old fellow laying in the sagebrush. He'd been shot up, abused, and abandoned. I decided to bring this old boy home and a close relative of his. I had a project in mind and this was going to be perfect for it. Now there was no way this thing was ever going to hold water again. It would make a pretty good cheese grater though. I spent some time getting it back into a roughly its original shape, but I didn't want to lose too much of the character, so I cautiously moved things around, bent metal, hit it with hammers, wood blocks, grabbed some pliers, twisted things around and did my best to get this thing back into its original shape. About half the bottom had separated from the sides. So I decided to get some wire, tie it back together, and for the most part I was able to use some of the existing holes. There we go. Good as new. Thank you. 
The next thing I needed to do is figure out a way to mount this to the ceiling. I decided that I'd cut a circle out of some plywood. The diameter of this was about two inches smaller than the diameter of the bottom of the basin. I didn't spend a lot of time finishing this wood because you're not going to see much of it when the lamp is in place. So a quick burn, some dark brown stain, and then I hogged out some material on the bottom so that this bracket would fit in there and everything would sit flush to the ceiling. I managed to salvage enough lamp parts and then I started wiring these things up. The wiring on these is pretty simple but if you're not comfortable with this part of it, you may want to pull in some outside help. Essentially you have white, which is sometimes referred to as neutral or common, and then you have black, which is your hot. This light is going to have three bulbs, so right now I'm just marking 120 degrees around the circumference of this cap, and then I'll drill holes for the wires that go to the fixtures.
So at this point I'm just going to connect all of the white wires together with a jumper and the black wires together with a jumper and then these jumpers will be connected to the wires coming out of the box in the ceiling. So I'm ready to get this thing mounted to the ceiling. First thing I did was just turn power off to this particular light fixture. If you wanted to, you could go out and turn the breaker off at the power box. I'm the only one here at this time, so I'm not worried about someone coming along and flipping this switch behind my back. At this point, wiring the new light in here is no different than if you were to go buy a light fixture from one of the big box stores or a lighting company or really anywhere. Just disconnecting the existing wires so that what I'm left with are the ground wire, the black wire, and the white wire. The ground wire is going to be connected to the bracket that comes down through the center of that wooden mounting plate. The metal cap, in turn, gets mounted to that threaded insert and then this circuit is grounded out. All that's left now is to connect the wires coming from the fixture to the wires coming out of the ceiling. White to white and black to black. I know right here that wire looks like it's white that's coming out of the ceiling, but that's just white paint on the black wire. Everything's good. All done. Let there be light. In case you're curious, I got through this whole project without any bloodshed, which is a personal record for me.